All right, so everything's going to be happening in real time. I'm trying to update the firmware to my Ender 3 S1 Pro. And as you see, I have uh, the SD card. This is the SD card that comes with your Ender 3 S1 Pro. Uh, as you can see, it's an eight gigabyte memory card. It works really well. It comes pre-formatted with uh, files and everything on there that you need. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert it into the computer and see what happens when we put it in. See, it just appeared on the desktop, which is great. It says no name. And I have two no names. I have the no name to the, my SD card and the no name to my microphone. So you open up your finder and go into disk utility. We're just going to move this window out of the way. So we, you know, we know, we're done viewing the camera for now. And as you can see, I have Apple uh, SDX reader and then I have no name. So what I want to do is this is my DJI mic. Don't want to erase that. I'm going to click on the no name. Okay and we're going to format it for a minute not mac os extended journal we're going to click ms dos fat these are our only two options that we have on the macintosh computer okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to um remember don't select os ex extended to ms dos fat okay and then what we'll do is we'll just click erase and the magic should happen uh nope nothing as of yet possible that the disk is still locked but that's okay this is an easy fix we'll just click done we'll try to format it again just to make sure uh we'll look all right see no name ms dos fat it's already pre-formatted because it's worked before uh we're just going to try it one more time and ms dos fat nope mm, all right so good so now we know the disk is locked that's okay we can unlock the disk we're going to unlock it I'm just going to move the camera in so you can see it again in real time remember this is real time live update so you see it's down you want the uh, white part the white lock to be closest to the pins see move it up and now your disk is unlocked and you should be able to insert it back into your computer and without a problem you'll be able to format it accordingly um, there are only two options on here for the mac os x operating system all right so no name we'll select it and then we're going to format it and click on ms dos fat and erase uh any minute see it's working it's on mounting erasing and voila i uh, see got a green check to go and we're going to select done remember this is the sd card to the printer okay not the micro sd card which is what we are going to do next all right so now as you can see we open this is the sd card to the printer the 8 gig we're going to take the stm 32f4 update drop it in there close it out close it out okay and uh, I'm just going to walk over to my printer and get my micro SD card because that's what we're going to do, use next. Uh, remember, all this is happening in real time. No edits in this video because I want you guys to see the seamless experience that, um, you know, you should have when updating your Ender 3 S1 Pro. All right. So there we are. We're back. Uh, remember this is the we're going to eject this disk this is the 8 gig to the printer this goes into the printer the one i just ejected okay the all right so now we're just going to have a look at our uh micro sd card we're going to put it into the computer uh and you know how, how to tell if it's a micro sd card right hopefully if not I'm, i'll show you guys all right so micro sd this is the 8 gig no micro all right let's see there's no slot and this is the uh, micro SD card. See, there's a little card that goes into the SD card reader, and that's why they call them the micro SD, because this will go into your LCD screen uh, where you press your print, that little panel, all right, control panel that you use to control your board, um, you know, your prints. When you say print this file, print that file. All right, so we're going to slide this out of the way, and there's our SD card. See, it appeared, and even though it doesn't say micro, we know it's micro because it's the only one that we put in. And then you see SD card, we will select it, okay? And now we're going to, uh, remember this is MS-DOS FAT, and then we'll just, um, you know, erase it. Uh, looks like we're having the same issue with the card, which is fine. What we'll do is we will uh, unlock it, really simple. We'll eject it, and you can tell if it's unlocked by, you see, the same situation as before. Just slide it up so that it's close to the white button, white slider thing is closest to the pins and as we insert it back into the uh, computer it should appear on the desktop without a problem so as you can see voila there it is on the uh, right hand side next to right above the erase button which is great all right so now we're just here make sure you're in the correct sd card uh, that you're erasing and then 
we are MS DOS fat. We're going to erase it on mounting. I'm mounting this, erasing, and any minute we'll get it. There it is, the green check. We are golden. We are almost ready to go. Remember, this is the micro SD card. So on the micro SD card, we're going to take two particular folders. We're going to take the private, take the private folder, okay? And take, you press hold down the uh, command key so you can select multiple items. And we're going to drag it into the S micro SD card. Okay, remember we took the DWN set and then voila, they should appear in your S micro SD card. And then what we'll do is we'll just, uh, you know, right click and uh, get out of there and make sure we eject this because we're going to use this on the second part of the video. But right now um, we're just ejecting it. Just have everything ready. Have all your micro SD cards ready so you just have a seamless experience. And there it is. There's the micro SD. We're going to pop that out on the uh, second half and hopefully that will work. And remember, this is the regular 8 gig um, SD card that came with your printer and that's what we're going to use first okay make sure it's not locked so that when you put it into your printer it can work its magic okay all right so as you can see uh let me just get the camera so please stand by while i just get my camera bearings ready because as you can see this is in real time no edits so that if there are any complications that uh, folks at creality can um share with us on what was done wrong all right, so there I am. Uh, I'm just adjusting the camera. Please stand by. Any minute, any day. Um, remember, this is uh, I'm actually recording this from the iPhone, so that we need to flip the camera into its right position so it, everything doesn't look upside down. Um, I think it was set to default for my uh, soldering experience, for my soldering videos, for when you guys were built when we're building drones. All right, there it is. It's in the right angle. Remember, this is the 8 gig SD card, which should go into the slot. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to make sure the printer is off. But before that, let's just take a look and say goodbye to the firmware because it's 2.0.8. Um, hopefully, you know, this will uh, work wonders uh you know this is it i did one last print 2.0.8 that something uh whatever it is what it is we'll see we'll check it out on the big screen um but yeah this is it uh, wish me luck and we're gonna turn off this is it i have did my last print on this bed i know it works and hopefully after the firmware update we will be good and golden again um it's really hard uh, there it is we shut off the printer cut off the power we're going to insert the uh SD card that has all the goodies on there that's supposed to have a uh, updated experience so that we can see what we want to see and experience what we want to experience without the glitches. All right, so now we're just going to turn the printer back on and we just wait for the Creality logo to appear. I'm just going to voila, lights, camera, and action. Look at that, it's starting up. Uh, there's a little bit glitchy there. I don't remember seeing a pause on that, but you know, I guess it's part of the firmware experience and the creality look at that the logo does look a little bit different maybe but i haven't turned the printer off in a while because it's been printing non-stop all right there we go i presume according to the video this is the part where you check the firmware or not check the firmware i just want to check it and see click on um about mm, nope nothing happened all right so we'll just click home and we'll just take out the sd card right and hopefully on the uh next part we'll just take it out and then, you know, we're done with this, supposedly, and hopefully. Um, we'll just tip, pull it out and, you know, just put it on the side. And now we have to flash the um, control panel. What we'll have to do is take it all apart and then, um, you know, just throw out some remnants of other stuff. Uh, but I'll have to uh, bring the chair over so that you guys can see, uh, you know, me flashing the, uh, the firmware on the control panel or the also known as the LCD screen. You know, I have those little pr little print cheat sheets for when I need to, uh, uh, what do you call it? Level the board. I just, you know, check the circles. I have some other things happening in there. You know, it's, it's a fair angle, but this is good for now so that we could uh, uh, remove the control panel. So we just slide it up, right? Easily, this is what comes off in case you forgot. It's been a while since, you know, I've taken the thing apart and just pull out the, uh, just pull that out and then just shut it off. 
See, and then we'll move back to the table so that we can take this thing apart. Uh, make sure the surface you put it on is clean and free from any debris or metal so you don't scratch it because you know you want to take care of your stuff there's my little cheat sheet for the machine settings for the cure configurations uh, but by default out of the box uh, the dynamic and standard work really well dynamic just works excellent standard eh, you know not so much works better on flat prints so if you're going to print in um standard mode but anything like you know like raised and like the fish print well in um standard or dynamic drone that i have right there on the left hand side no dynamic works well all right so now i just need to find the right allen key because uh, there's one particular key most likely you, your set uh it might you know whatever you have that came with your under 3s1 pro might work you might find one in the drawer um, but you know i have mine handy on the table so i'm just going to unscrew the um you know the control panel or lcd screen or you know the thing whatever you want to call it uh it's really well it's really well built and put together i have to say the the um the it's amazing how this printer can just print you know your 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 files and, and bring to life um you know the flat um 2d experience into 3d um and once you have all your screws done, it, it just comes apart. And remember, just make sure you have something underneath so you don't scratch the uh, LCD me. I'll put it on this little gray uh, thing that I have. But you just pull out the uh, SD card, and it should pop right in. Just follow the, the angle or the, the, uh, the hole. You know, you can line up the holes with the shapes, and then it's like putting a square peg in a square peg, and just match it up, and then voila. Um, now let's move over to the board back to the uh, printer and hopefully if all goes well according to plan the uh, firmware should actually update and we're just going to put this back on the chair you know ideally in a perfect world I, the tripod would work nice but you know i just didn't get it ready um all right so let's see what we have here i'm just gonna please stand by while i uh get everything in place so that uh you know we can have the seamless update experience and you know make sure your you know everything is good to go and well balanced because you do not want to drop your 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 lcd screen um the control panel to your ender 3 s1 pro okay all right so it looks like we're almost set with our camera remember this is happening in real time no edits uh, we just want us to see you know maybe i missed something maybe there's something um most likely paper would have probably been ideal because the uh cloth could you know create some static electricity that we don't want on the board um so paper you know uh, or something softer that's not um you know conductive uh and then let's see what we have here oh, see you turned it on and it's supposed to see the firmware flash but nothing happened just get a nice uh, screen of of blue i call it the blue screen of death but thankfully you know, I took a risk on this, but I did not break my firmware. Um, so, you know, just just wait for it. I just let it sit, let it wait, let it work its magic. And apparently there is no magic because nothing is happening. Firmware is not updating, just a blue screen. And, um, you know, my SD card is formatted uh, correctly, you know, the, the MS-DOS FAT and um, nothing. Just... Uh, hanging right there I'll, I'll leave it here for a bit so we could just see and um you know maybe it just needs to work more magic than the magic that uh is required to happen uh needs a little little time the, the, the magic that happens with time and patience um but as you can see nothing is happening as of yet and so you know i'll just wait a little bit to see maybe it'll just flash it um automatically but uh yeah no nothing so i'll just wait and wait um because you know i believe sometimes maybe it just needs to find itself but everything was formatted correctly as you saw um and it was a big risk i took on my end because what do i brick it or not brick it you know that, that is the question and that'll be the true question when i turn the machine back on uh will it work or not work and fingers crossed that it will i mean it, it it's possible you know uh, to reflash it again, but it's just a matter of um, seeing what happens. As, as they say, time heals all wounds. And maybe maybe tap it. Tap it may activate the um, 
you know, the, the, the firmware update, but that didn't seem to work. Um, so I'm just waiting. I'll just place it down a little bit. I'm going to be hold it in my hand. Um, you know, maybe, maybe there's a way you have to hold it. I'm just going to put a little sheet, sheet of paper under there like they did in the video. Uh, you know, just so that, uh, you know, you don't want to use the cloth and just leave it right there. Maybe, um, maybe it just needs to sit for a little bit and, and find itself, uh, during the, uh, firmware update, if that makes any sense, you know, you, you hope, um, but you just, uh, always expect the unexpected. All right, let's go back to their video though. I just want to go back to their video and see, you know, of course they're wearing gloves. I'm not wearing gloves. Maybe I was supposed to wear gloves. Uh, hopefully not, uh, but they have a bigger sheet of paper, bigger table. See, look, that's what I was looking for, that little strip thing where it just goes down, 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 and then voila. But nothing, nothing happened. I didn't I didn't have that full experience, which is a little bit of a bummer. I did see the files on the SD card, which was good. All right, let me just go back and see. Let's just bring this back, and um, you know, hopefully we could have the same experience. But I don't have the fancy music, but um, maybe I'll just... Uh, do, Nothing. All right, so let's see what we got there. Let's just shut it off. Maybe if we shut it off and then turn it back on again, maybe that'll create a different experience where, you know, everything will just find each other. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's hard to say, but, you know, we try everything. We'll try and we'll come back to everything that glitches. Uh, this is one major glitch, I have to say, because the firmware experience should update. All right, so let's see. Maybe it'll create that little bar and um, push everything the way it's supposed to. I'm just going to move stuff out of the way. That's my little scraper thing that I use for when I'm... Uh, um, that's why I, I actually don't use the scraper anymore. Now I just wait 5 to 10 minutes um, or even 15 and once the board cools off, you do not have to scrape it, believe it or not. Uh, I guess if you're impatient and you got to have it now, you got to use a scraper. In the beginning, I was using the scraper. Now I just use time um, and patience, and then I just flick it with the finger, and everything just comes off. Let me just tap it. No, tapping it doesn't work. Uh, this is a good sign, though. Like, you know, at least we know, um, hopefully, it's not bricked, right? Uh we won't know until we take the SD card out and try and, uh, uh, you know, do it again. We're just going to wait. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'll turn it back on. Maybe after fifteen to twenty seconds. Who knows? Maybe it'll, uh, you know, need a time to be off. No, nope, nothing. Well, wow, a little bit of a bummer. Um, so still no flashing of the firmware. Uh, everything was formatted correctly. The SD card is there, um, but no, no, nada. A um, little bit of a bummer. All right, so let's uh, give it some more time. Just probably going to shut it off. Um, let's tap it a couple of times. You know, maybe t I thought maybe tapping it. Nope, tapping it doesn't reactivate any um, uh, firmware updating experience. Uh, so I'll just take it out. And, um, you know, it's a little bit tricky to take out. You have to be really careful. And maybe I'll just turn it on again. Maybe I'll, I'll give it one more shot before disconnecting it. You know, just let it uh, try and work some magic. Uh, but nothing seems to be happening. You know, I did flash the, um, like it said, the, the, the printer first. The printer was flashed first. And nothing actually, I think, happened with that. But with that, you know, you don't know, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and there we go. Right there. And I'm just going to take the SD card out and then turn it back on again. Um, let's see what we have here. Um, the Curality logo should load. Okay, great. So this is a good sign. It's opening up. Uh, but again, nothing was flashed because we didn't get that bar. But I just want to see, you know, if anything's changed. Uh, nothing. Uh, looks pretty, though. It's a beautiful LCD screen. So let's go to settings and um, about. And not still the same firmware on there. Bummer. All right, so you know we tried. Um, maybe, um, maybe you know this unit just isn't updatable. Um, you know, maybe let's go back to. Whoops! Don't press uh, uh, the wrong button. So let's see what we have here. Let's go to. Oh, I pressed leveling by mistake. Hopefully, it's not going to level the board. Um, but remember, this is in um, manual. Uh, 
uh, leveling. So thankfully, it's not in the auto level mode. Um, so we're, we're in good hands uh, here. I just have to wait for the machine to do what it needs to do so I can press the back button. Um, but yeah, this is a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, I was hoping to have a firmware experience, but anything beats a bricked experience. As you can see, the unit is working after what I just did and it's not bricked. So, you know, you can't, um, you know, you can't win, win them all, but let's see what we have here. Let's go back. Okay. And then we're just going to go back. Um, we're just going to click on, I'm not sure what I want, want to click, but maybe we'll just, um, uh, you know, leave things as is and make room for this to just lay on the table. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go back to my computer and see if it will print, um, one of my, uh, my, uh, STL files, you know, let's see if it can print the fish. My, the fish is my calibrator. I use, you know, some people use the Benchy. And for me, I use the fish. If you can print the fish and it prints the bones and, and the body and everything the way it's supposed to be, you're fine. You're golden. And as you can see, this is, there's the no name. Uh, that would be the, uh, we're going to erase it. Um, we're just going to delete everything on the uh, 8 gig SD card and just put a print file on there see if we can print something and we're going to look for the leo the leo is the van dragon i believe um normally i should be able to type in leo but um, because it's a folder within a folder it's just loading and there's a lot happening with the machine um so i'm just gonna open up my folder rebat i don't think it's in my downloads i think i just passed it a second ago inside of the other folder so we'll just have to wait for myself oh, there we go s uh, 3d downloads and we are looking for a folder called, there we are, Van Dragon and the fish. So we're just going to take the fish and drag it into the uh, Curality Ultim Ultimaker. Um, you see Ultimaker Cura, sorry, Ultimaker Cura is what we're using. And once that loads up, we will, um, you know, just f go into our, first you want to click on the project, click on the fish, right? So we can flatten it out because there's no way you can print that without supports. And if we just go to rotate and then flatten it, flatten it, boom, we are flat. So that's how I want it to print. And then what we'll do is we'll just, uh, just, we'll just double check the angles to make sure it's flat, you know, from all points of view so that, you know, it's going to be on the board. So make sure and slice it. And then after we slice it, we could do is see three minutes really fast. And once you print this fish, you know if your board is level or not. I can save to removable. Uh, but sometimes I have trouble saving it to the removable. Let's see if it um, saved. Nope, nothing on the removable. And that's a Curality Ultim, uh, not Curality, it's a, um, the, the Cura uh, Ultimaker. Whoops, pressed the wrong button. Uh, Cura experience where, you, you know, you, sometimes it saves to the removable, sometimes it doesn't. But it will just go save to disk. And save to disk will allow me to save it on the desktop. And then I can just drag and drop it you know, onto my, uh, from my desktop onto the, uh, SD card, uh, whether it's micro or the one that came with it. In this case, we're using the, the stock, uh, SD card. So I'm just going to take the, uh, fish, which is right there. See G code file, drop it in. And after we drop it in, it should, you should hear like a bing, you know, that sound you hear when, when an item copies from your Macintosh desktop. Okay. We're going to eject it. Okay, you know, you choose so choose rate your experience, fill out the survey. Were you happy? Were you crying? Or did it make you go stir crazy upside down? Or do you love it? Give it a thumbs up, or you can just blow it up your butt and love the shit that it does. All right, those were the emojis that we just saw. Um, all right, so anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to put the SD card into the um, printer just to make sure everything stayed, everything's the way it's supposed to be, because it looks like this update did not work. Um, all right, so moving forward, we're just gonna go to print, and there's the fish, right? I don't want the um, the uh, CS file, I just want the print, the fish, the one that I named. And um, there it is, which is the fish. I think I might print the dragon after this, the dragon fidget. Um, and then just send this video to the folks at Curality to see if they can uh, figure out what went wrong down the line because the printer would not update. So again, this is an excellent way to calibrate your machine because you will be able to tell if it's calibrated because the fish should print the way the fish looks. And it just if it prints beautifully, like, a, like it just came out of a mold, 
then your your printer's fine. Some people like to print the Benchy, but that takes hours, you know? And when you can just print something as simple as this to know if things are leveled, uh, why not, right? At least this works for me to each their own and not everyone will have the same experience. But, you know, after printing the fish, I could print a 10 hour file. I could print a 26 hour file. I could print, you know, a file with no time limit. I even print that little uh, astronaut in the cup. You know, I've, I always like print the fish to make sure everything works before I print a big file. But if it doesn't print, then you know it could be your STL file. It's not always the bad. Sometimes certain STL files just don't work when they export has a G code. It just like makes the, the printing experience bonkers. Um, so always um, check, print the fish. And if the fish prints, then you know it's a G code file. And don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. I like me, it depends on your goal. My goal is like, I like to just press print. And if it doesn't print, move on. And I, I'll find a new STL file from the uh, library of STLs and find something new to print if the uh, first print is not printing up to parv. And as you can see, the bed is heating up. That takes a little bit of time. Remember, the printer was off and it adjusted to the temperature in the room. So let's see what we got here. It's almost there. We want it to get to 200 and we want the nozzle, we want the, uh, the nozzle to be at 200 and the bed to be at 65, I believe. And it's getting there. Remember, there's no rush. Um, we're just uh, watching it out. Oh, there it is. Looks like it started. It, this is the part where it just cleans out the nozzle. The nozzle will clean out and then, you know, work its uh, work its thing so that when it reaches the uh, home point of the board, it can just create your print. But before it does that, it will create a skirt. Now, if your skirt um, matches the um, object that you're printing, you're fine. For example, if you're printing a heart, the skirt around it will be similar to a heart. If you're printing a fish, the skirt around it will be similar to a fish. Now, if your skirt starts to look discombobulated and weird looking, some sort of weird uh, uh, triangular, hectagon, octi, you know, uh, weird shape, then uh, you're on, your, on the way to either uh, a bad STL file or bed leveling. And Usually if that happens with this file, uh, what I like to do is format the SD card first and then reload it. And if you get the same experience, then you know you need to be leveled. Um, and in this case, you know, we got lucky and the fish printed because nothing got thrown off. There were some forums on Facebook that were sharing that after the update, they have to re-level the board. So most likely everything seems to have stayed with my board uh, with both parts of the experience, which means that nothing happened um, and no leveling will be required because nothing actually updated. It was just a false sense of an experience, an experience without the experience, if that makes any sense. So again, like I say, welcome back to everything that glitches. We're at 41%, but thankfully it is printing the fish. We're at 43% and we'll have to put this thing back together because actually it looks really beautiful. I love how the, uh, the glass and, and, and everything just is phenomenally uh, aesthetically uh, pleasing to the eyes. And it's amazing how the printer just knows where to print everything, uh, whether it's a fish, the benchy, the heart, the frog. Look at that frog. That frog is so small, but that frog is printed. Um, that's another, I, I usually print the frog too sometimes. So I'll either print the frog or the fish. And if either of these print, then I know my print. Look at that, look at even the spaceman printed. Uh, so then, you know, you, but I usually print the, like I said, the fish or the frog. That's a bench sheet printed really well with the man on the boat. I call it the man on the boat. Look at that. Amazing. Um, and, you know, that's how you know your printer is tuned too. Uh, so then, you know, anything, like I said, I can't stress no more. Don't go crazy leveling the board. If your your if your calibration print files print well, otherwise you're just going to drive yourself. You'll be your own worst enemy. All right. So let's see, moving forward. Uh, we're almost there. We're at like maybe 85% um, moving into the 95 percentile zone. Look at that. Everything is just moving smoothly. Printer is just doing everything it needs to do. Let's see what percentage we're at. We are at, yeah, around there. We're almost there. We need it for the blue to run full 360 all the way around so that we can just know to press the finish button and put this baby back together. And maybe send this video to the folks at Creality so that they can figure out what exactly is wrong. Or maybe I need to order a um, SD card 
with everything on it. You know, like maybe there's a, on their website, uh, the SD card upgrade based on your, um, firmware upgrade based on your, uh, your, your, your ender board. And look at that. You can just buy it and have them mail to mail it to you. Look at that. The fish just printed beautifully. See, it looks like amazing. And look at that. All the, the bones, the detail, the hole where you can put the, the, the angle or fishing hook. Uh, and look at that. Gotta love it. I love this printer. It's just great. And you know, I just wish I could update it, but apparently, uh, you know, it's just not updatable. Uh, at this point, you know, maybe uh, there's something that else that needs to be done so that the experience can just be uh, seamless, flawless, and as easy as one, two, three. As you can see, everything happened in real time. Um, and this, I have to say, this this uh, control panel thing is just beautiful. Um, and let's go back into our setting. We just tap finish once and everything goes back. We'll go into settings and we'll click on about 2.0.8. Yeah, so we're still at the same firmware. Um, nothing changed. Uh, everything is still the same. The board didn't need to be real. Uh, now, to get your stuff off the board, I always wait 15 to 20, sometimes 10 minutes for the board to cool off because they should be able to just flick it off. If you can't flick it off, then it means that you gotta let it cool off. You could use a scraper like this, but as you can see, it's still hot. Remember, the board just stopped. I see a lot of people on Facebook saying, hey, my stuff's not coming off. Well, it just requires patience. You gotta wait, and then when you wait, you'll flick it off. But in this case, I'm gonna use a scraper, which I haven't used since the beginning of time because I don't use this anymore. Because now I just um, flick my stuff off the board after 15 to 20 minutes. And this is how, like, see how it moves like that? That's what you want it to do after 15 to 20 minutes. If it's still stuck on the board, then you've got some other issues or problems happening. And I believe we are pretty much done here. Look, but look at the fish, how it just, uh, the printer just printed it beautifully. So we know the printer's fine, but fortunately we couldn't update it. But, you know, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below and hopefully the folks at uh, Curality will be able to help us.